Winter is coming. guy and I just finished watching the TV series Game of Thrones. Now I've heard a lot about Game of Thrones. A lot of people have been talking about it. They say like, oh, it's like Lord of the Rings meets, you know, Harry Potter and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm I'm interested. I want to check this thing out. And I gotta say, I really did enjoy this show. I mean, man, is it gruesome and man is there a lot of shit going on in this show, but it was quite enjoyable. So the basic premise of Game of Thrones is it takes place in this world known as the Realm that is consisted of seven different kingdoms, all ruled by one king, King Robert. And I gotta say, he isn't the best choice for the king. I mean, he doesn't handle the kingship or the crown very well. After the death of King Robert's hand, King Robert is in dire need of a new hand, and he travels to Winterfell to go meet the Lord of Winterfell and an old-time friend of his, Ned Stark. And I gotta say, out of all the characters, I really like Ned Stark. Ned Stark's a very humble, loyal, and merciful person. That's why Robert comes to him and says, Hey, I would like you to be my new hand. And so, he invites Ned to be his new hand. And through all of this, learn about all the secrets, the troubles, and the conspiracies in Game of Thrones. Now, like I said, when I heard about this show, I've heard so much about it. Like, you know, it's epic, it's, you know, all this stuff merged into one, and I gotta say, it is epic, it's a merge of a lot of stuff, and man, is it gruesome. To start off, I want to talk about the story, because it really deals on the politics of how life would be like in medieval, like, kingships and stuff. I mean, there is a lot of backstabbing, inbreeding, and just some crazy shit. And the main premise that I gave you is not the only thing that's happening in this story. I mean, there's also these two siblings that are basically in hiding because King Robert just massacred their whole family. And now they're trying to build an army so that they can go to King Robert, kick his ass, and take back the throne. But I gotta give it up to the writers and creators. They did a spectacular job in the writing of this story. I mean, the, the backstabbing and the, the betrayals and all this craziness happening. I mean, it was entertaining as shit. And now let's dive into the characters. Now before I mention any of the characters, I will say this, everybody that acted for these characters, the actors who portrayed these characters, did a phenomenal job portraying these characters because I gotta tell you, most of the characters I despise with a passion. And again, it goes to the actors doing a great job in portraying these piece of shit, detestable people that you just hate off off the bat, man, just watching the show, you just hate them. I mean, you got that one woman who was in 300 playing Leonidas' wife. She's in the show. She is such a bitch. You hate her the minute you see her. You see her brother, he's such a pompous asshole. You hate his guts. In fact, most of the Lannisters you hate in this show. You just want these motherfuckers to die. Except for one Lannister, which is Tyrion Lannister, played by Peter Dinklage, who is phenomenal in this role, and I loved him in Death at a Funeral, and I love him in this. He's so, he's so witty, he's so sarcastic, yet he is one of the most sane characters in the show, and he is so entertaining. To me personally, the characters that I liked and related to were the Starks. I mean, they were nice, they were gentle, they were relatable, they were kind, they were just. I mean, they were just these good people, and I gotta say, Ned Stark is the most level-headed person in this series. He is out there to do as much right as he can. I mean, he shows mercy, but at the same time, he could be a hard ruler if he wanted to. I mean, he is just, and I think he's actually one of the better characters in the show. You also got the two siblings that I mentioned earlier. I mean, the one of them is just a complete douchebag who deserves to get some type of comeuppance, and the other one is this sweet, fragile little girl who actually is the most well-developed character in this series so far, and she goes from being, you know, this weak, scrawny, just insecure little girl into this strong leader who will kick your ass if you get in her way, and I really like that development of her character. Now, I can't talk about this show and not mention the violence and the action. The violence and the action in the show is so entertaining, but it's also so gruesome, and, you know, a lot of people compare this show to, like, Lord of the Rings, and I'm like, whoa, you need to calm down, because this is nothing like Lord of the Rings. Maybe in, like, the, the thin layer of the story and how it takes place in, like, a medieval era, maybe that much, but 
Man, is this show gruesome. It's like if Lord of the Rings made love with 300 and all the Saw movies, mixed in with like Goodfellas, Casino, or any type of Martin Scorsese picture that has a lot of cussing and fucking, that is Game of Thrones. And man, are there some awesome kills in this show. I mean, I, I never want to watch a joust ever again after what I saw. I mean, I'm done. Now, like I said, the show might not be for everyone. There's a lot of cussing, there's a lot of sex, there's a lot of violence. I mean, it is really up there and like, like pushing NC-17, not even rated R, NC-17. And also, the like the first few episodes are kind of slow. It's just basically the just, oh, you know, the, the kingdoms are falling apart. We need to do something to pick this up, that, that kind of stuff. But when like episode seven kicks in, man, the shit hit the fan. I mean, in the last episode, I was just like, Biting my nails like figuring oh shit what's gonna happen or what what what's next? I mean, it's just so enticing. You know, you don't even know what's gonna happen All I can say is that season two is gonna be epic. I mean like it's all-out war right now One last thing I want to say is I really like the opening. I mean, I love the orchestration I love like how they were building up these cities and then it just zooms into the different nations I thought that was pretty cool. So overall, as you can tell, I really enjoyed the first season of Game of Thrones. I haven't seen the second season yet. When I see it, I'll probably make a review for that. But so far, the series is looking really good. It's really entertaining. You got some hateable characters. You got some likable characters. Shit's about to hit the fan. It is just all around entertaining. And I'm going to give the show a 4 out of 5 stars. It's definitely worth watching. If you have HBO, I say go check it out. Viewer discretion is advised though. But anyway, what did you guys think of this show? Did you like it a lot like I did or did you find it too gruesome and too much cussing and you hate it? And let me know what is your favorite medieval epic. It could be a TV show, it could be a movie. Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.